For practice it, self-check 3.6 parameter mystery numbers. We are given the following program and we need to check the output for each of the calls. These are the calls we're going to be looking at. First, we are going to look at this right here. We're passing in the strings two and three and then the number three. So here is where we're going to have two, here is where we're going to have three, and then this is where we're having three. So in our method, we are going to have one, which stores three. Then we are going to have um, a the string times. This should be lowercase. And then we will have three right here and three stores two so we will have the string two then we will have an equal sign and then we will have number times two and number is three so we will have six and this is going to be our first line of output this will be the first thing that we put right here for our next method call we can get rid of this we could just move it aside and we can look at this part right here where we have 2 3 and 14 passed in well 2 is the string 3 and 3 is the string 1 and then number we have um, as 14 so when we look at these we have the string 3 stored in 3 string 1 stored in 1 and then the number 14 stored in 14 when we print this out we will have first we'll print out 1 then we will have times and then we will have the 3 so we will call the 3 string which will be 3 here just like that then we have an equal sign then we have a number times 2 and our number is 14 so 14 times 2 is 18 and this is going to go in this line right here next we have this method call so we have a sentence 3 3 and then number plus 1 so 3 is storing the string 1 and then we store the string 1 and then number which we have as 20 right here plus 1 will give us 21 so when we call our method we have 1 and then we have the string times and then we're going to have 1 again and that is equal to number which is 21 times 2 so that will be 42 this should just be 42 and that is our outputs for this one and we can draw an arrow because it's going right there next we have sentence three two one right here this method call and we are going to be looking at this part right here so we have three which right here is the string one and then we have two right here which is the string three and next we have just one so in here we will have one or we'll, sorry we'll have um, three because that is what's storing one three is um, in the first space so 
I don't know what happened there, but if we come back here, we will see that our string three um, right here, this three is stored in one, and one is being outputted here. I didn't really explain that earlier, but that's what's really happening. So we'll have three times and then three, but that is storing the first parameter that's passed in. So we have one and then we have the number times two um, after we have an equal sign and that will be two. So if we then point an arrow to our answer, this is what we will put in here. Next, we have this last part where we're passing in the string eight right here. And then we are passing in three, which is the string one. And then we are passing in number divided by two, which is 10. So right here is where we'll write, we have the string one times, and then we have three which is eight and we'll have an equal sign and then we have number times two which is 10 times two so we will have 20 here and this is going to go here so these are our answers and that is how we solve this practice it problem i did make a mistake in the second part where I have one times three is equal to 18. Actually, if we look back at what we wrote, we have three, one, and 14. So in here, we're gonna compare it. We have one, which is the string one, that's correct, times three, which is um, three, that's correct, and we have an equal sign. And the only thing that's incorrect is this 18 right here when we have a 14 times 2 right here so instead of being 18 this should instead be 14 times 4 which is 28 and that is the correct answer